Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. Appreciate so much you tuning in each week. You know, I wanna to talk to you today about the power of the commitment that you make to tell other people about the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the early church, there's a story about an early deacon by the name of Philip that in the book of Acts, God gives him a word and tells him, get up and go from where you are to this place and there I'll show you what I'm going to do. And when he does that, he encounters a man, a man from Ethiopia. If you know the story, Philip has the opportunity to get in the carriage with this guy and talk to him about the scroll of Isaiah that this man had and explain to him what was being said. It was upon that explanation that this Ethiopian leader really would be our equivalent of the Secretary of the Treasury for the country of Ethiopia, for the Queen of Ethiopia. He got, he got baptized, he came to know Christ, he got baptized, and it changed everything in his life. Now Christian tradition tells us that this Ethiopian eunuch who went back to Ethiopia with this message of the gospel and shared it with others made a huge difference in the nation, in the continent of Africa. We know that the disciple Thomas would go as well, Christian tradition tells us, to Africa and that his ministry would flourish there. And now in Africa, there are millions of people that know Christ as a result of this movement that started. Because this Ethiopian eunuch, because of one disciple who went there, who spread the word of the gospel, and no doubt many others who were spreading the word. There's a story about a, a guy who was teaching a Bible study class for young boys, teenage boys, who decided that he wanted every single boy in his class to know Jesus Christ as his savior and to make contact with him. And so he went to a uh, shoe store where there was a boy that was in his class who was in the back stocking the shelves. And it was there that a man by the name of Edward Kimball told another young man, a young boy, about Jesus Christ, and it changed this man's life. His name was Dwight L. Moody. Dwight L. Moody became an incredible evangelist, had great movements all over uh, America as well as over in England. In fact, today, his ministry, his life, the impact of his life continues on in downtown Chicago at the Moody Bible Institute and a church named after him, the Moody Memorial Church that he was a part of starting. But what's interesting is when he went over uh, to England to do the work there, there was a person that was out in the audience by the name of Frederick Meyer. And Frederick Meyer heard the gospel, and Frederick Meyer was inspired with evangelistic energy of spreading the gospel. And as a result of that, he committed his life to Christ, committed his life to the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he went out as a result of D.L. Moody's ministry and started spreading the gospel as well. He came to America and had great crusades, and it was in one of those crusades that a man by the name of J. Wilbur Chapman heard the gospel heard the energy and the excitement for the gospel, came to know the Lord and came to surrender his life, and he too started out doing ministry. He was doing ministry in downtown Chicago. He had a vehicle with a loudspeaker. He was driving down the street and he caught the attention of a young baseball player who came to know Christ, surrendered his life to ministry, and his name was Billy Sunday. Billy Sunday started a movement reaching young people all over the world and all over the nation. And what happened then that experience was there was another young man who heard the gospel, got inspired by the name of Mordecai Ham. And Mordecai Ham surrendered himself to ministry and started ministry working and trying to build up the lives of young people all across America in some of the rural areas of America. He was doing a meeting and there was a young man that came to that meeting that changed the whole direction of his life, the ministry of Mordecai Ham. And his name was Dr. Billy Graham later on. All from the result of the faithfulness of one man who went to a shoe store to tell a young guy about Jesus Christ. Don't ever underestimate the power of your message to one person about what Christ has done in your life. Because you really have no idea, nor will you ever this side of heaven know, the difference one person's 
faithfulness to God can make. Philip was faithful to do what God called him to do. Edward Kimball was faithful to do what God called him to do. The question is whether or not you and I will be faithful to tell others about Christ and his love. And as King David said, who knows what God might do through you. May God bless you. Have a great week.